What is going on, everybody? It is Craig, and look at this. Another movie in the same day. It's pretty good. You might notice change of background, change slightly. We've got luggage. <sighs> we got some formal wear. Got a wedding tomorrow. A good friend of mine. I'm also officiating it, so that's always a lot of fun. Um, although, it's going to be a long and wet day. But, before you actually watch this, I'm going to try to have this set to go tomorrow, so we have back-to-back -back days. But we'll see. Might work, might not. Continuing my 2B 80s push, I watched a movie called Slugs. And it's one of those movies you might have thought, I, why didn't you see that already? Because I love Night of Creeps. And I'm a big fan of Slither. I know sequence wise, Slither I think came come with his 90s, right? Early 90s. But like when I was younger, I didn't, you know, pay too much attention. And so, like in my old life, I never went to Slugs because Night of the Creeps is perfect. I mean, I know Slugs is zombie based, but uh, but anyway, I, I'm like, ah, screw it. So, yeah, I'll watch it. And it wasn't a bad movie. It wasn't a good movie. I will see. Um, it could have been a much better movie. Because there were a lot of things they failed to capitalize on that should have gone along with 80s tropes. Like there was a, a Karen, before we used that term, and her dog. I almost was positive we were going to see them both killed. We didn't, unless it was done sort of off screen or mentioned. Um, There's also very randomly someone playing a joke by trying to rape, rape somebody. And then that poor girl, when she was trying to run away, fell in with the slugs and died. And, the guy just got a, oh, you're a jerk. Like, no one really knew what happened to him, which is kind of screwed up. You also never got to see the scene where the douchey mayor got his comeuppance. Like, there was never even any proof that the douchey mayor uh, believed there was this slug epidemic happening, which that's the big problem. At the end, they do this whole thing. They blow up the sewers, kill the slugs. Uh, all but one, obviously. Very night of the creeps. Esque ending, anyway. Uh, no zombies. The stuff that the movie had going for it and if they just nailed some of those 80s tropes a little bit better, I would be giving this a more positive review. Uh, I am going to... We'll see. You'll see. Uh, like, their kills were good. You know, the one kill you had um, somebody who, because he ate a slug, the slug parasites on the slug were in him, and the toxic stuff, and you literally saw, like, his head explode, and, like, not, not pop off his shoulders, but eyes, everything leak out, become a skeleton. Uh, and there was also another good one with uh, with a couple. As they had sex, the girl got up, slugs everywhere. She's getting eaten alive. The guy's trying to escape, being alive. Again, good kill for the type of movie it is. You need that kill in there. Um, the ending, though, again with them exploding everything. One of the one of the two, you know, the secondary hero guy who was the sewer guy, helping him everything is he died. Because they were trying to create an, another way out of the area they were in. And when they opened up this door, all this water came rushing. And then he got thrown in with the water and, and the slugs got him. The problem is, when the guy went to save him, like in the water, he like just then realized, hey, there's a giant pipe up there. I'll hop on it. They could have just done that, never opened the thing. He would never got wet. They could have just crawled across, climbed up, he would have whipped. So that's really kind of screwed up. Um, the other thing is, too... There was never any proof of anybody in with any power really knowing the slug thing was happening. You know, like, so it's kind of like, all of a sudden, this guy, this crazy science teacher, and somebody, sewer guy who's now gone, decide to do something to blow up this, you know, essentially the sewers in the town. Uh, at least the one area of town, because it was built on a toxic waste thing that had opened up, yet... I don't know. If they piece stuff together better, I would give this, you know, my rules over five means I don't regret watching. I'd watch again under a five. You know, I'm not gonna, probably not going to watch again, but I, I'll give it close. I'll give this, this like a four, seven, five. Um, you know, maybe if it's on TV, I don't have the control. I'll keep it on, but it had potential. Like, this is this is Ty Beatty's movie. I, I'd like to see how they could redo it. Like, but you know what, I take that back, because they'd use all CGI, and it would not look good. But anyway, folks, we're up to movie 14, so, you know, we'll see. I'm hoping to get about five more panged out next week, and I'll make the number a little more on par where I wanted it to be around this time, we'll see. But anyway, suggestions and comments, I will get to movies anyone suggests, I promise. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.